welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer, the little Netflix trailer, for Roma. This is Alfonso Cuarón's directing and writing it. Yes. Um, it's his second black and white movie, yes. according to you. Um, did for you those... look up the other film that he did in black and white? No, I did not, because I wanted to talk more about this movie. Um, give me a sec. I... Which one did he do in black and white? I don't remember. He did. He did one. Another one. Uh, go further back than just that. Oh no, it was actor. I was like director. Was it that one? I think so. No, no it's not. Gonna... Keep scrolling down. Why are you going back up? Is that it? That looks it's like a weird. It's a short film he did. Well, I guess it's a short film that he worked on then. Yeah. But this is another one. He's yeah. this is a full on film that he's uh, doing in full on black and white. Yeah. For those who don't know, he's best known for his work on Gravity, Prince Harry Potter, and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, and I know he really made a name of himself with his um, one movie, E Tu Mama Tambien. Yes. Um, that was the one I really. That's the one where people really started knowing his name because I believe that got nominated for like best foreign film. Yeah. At the Oscars that year, so this one is the story of a. This is hold on a sec. There we go. This is the story of a middle class Mexican family living in Mexico City in the early 1970s. Okay, so it's just you know this showing you know it's one of those where it's like you're following along with them you know certain little things may come up or this or that so this is dive right into this this is a great way to end it pretty much with a, a serious one hopefully <laughs> it's beginning nothing i comedies. swear to god if jim carrey shows up i'm done or there's some type of comedy or some type of you know there's like humor in it it's like oh boy i doubt it considering the tone he usually goes with his with most of his movies yeah so let's dive right into this for the official netflix trailer for roma so here we go Oh, children, man, that was the other one. Did he explain why he decided to direct this one in black and white? I didn't. I didn't read why he read, did it in black and white, but it seems interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing. God damn it, Joe Blake just ruined the moment. Um, yeah, I I can see what it essentially it is. Just a family in Mexico City just growing up with the times. Yeah, with the changing with the times is pretty much yeah. what it looks like. I mean, there's a guy got shot out of a cannon, so I guess that's something. Um, yeah, I. I can see why he chose black and white. I can kind of see why he chose black and the white. The tone that he set for it, pretty much, to show that pretty much it's not, it's, it's not about the color, but it's about just how, you know, how the tone of the film is going to be. For somebody, for you, for somebody who's taking a couple of film classes for your degree, um, what stands out the most for you from just watching this trailer? Uh, oh, man. Uh, just what I like is that we don't get anybody talking. 
I mean, we hear maybe, you know, crowd. We hear like sounds. That. We hear sounds. And that's what this is trying to really envelop here, is showing the sounds, showing the sounds that we grew up with or something like that. The sounds that we, we you know, through certain events that we go through. Everything. That's what it's trying to build up. It's trying to build up, you know, just the sound. And then, like I said, the, the look of it, it's just very, it's very, how can I say this? Um, very, you can tell it's very artistic. The way the certain part, certain shots were set up. It just felt like you would see something off. Of, for me personally, it's something you see off a painting, or something like that. Just the, you know, just a random picture or painting. It is something like that. That's what it felt like. You know, just you you get the. He finds a way to envelop ourselves into that scene, as if we're a part of the scene with with. Uh, and the family essentially is that like is our point of view. Exactly, and that's what it feels like it's setting up here, and it's, it looks like it's being beautifully done. Something I did. One of my checking out another trailer for. If they do have another one. But or it's not, on, apparently it's already on Netflix, so you can right now go check it out. Oh, even then, so here we, there, here we go. Yeah, um, cool, um, I, you pretty much capsulated it perfectly, I, that's why I asked you, because I'm like, I, it looks, it looks fine to me, I think, for the most part, Founders of Corona is very well known as being a good director, um, I, I brought up Harry Potter before, and a lot of people consider the third one to be one of the best of the Harry Potter movies, because... Yeah. Of, Alf of Alfonso Cuaron adding his style to it. Remember that Nerd Writer episode yeah, we yeah, watched yeah. on that show why a lot of people consider the third one one of the best of the film series. Because the way it was shot, the way everything was Exactly. Set up. So here, I get that same feeling where it's like, I know who it is, so I have faith in the director. I have faith in him writing it. You know, yeah. as well. well, I have faith in him directing it. I've I'm not as much of writing, but I favor him in directing it. So, like, him writing as well feels like there's so much more to this story. I wouldn't be surprised if it if it's based off of his experiences or experiences he's heard about from other people. Exactly. Yeah, so, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about dramas... Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer overall. If you're a fan of the director or it's just your first time checking it out, let us know what you guys' thoughts are. Um, especially, especially if it's already on Netflix, what you guys thought? Of, don't no spoilers, of course, but just you know, let us what you guys let us know what you guys' thoughts are on the film overall. Is it something that it's definitely worth a watch? Something that you definitely would pass or whichever. Let us know in the comments below. Put out what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly. Thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And this was a very Alfonso Cuaron style episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter. As well as Stardust. At Super React Bros.